Hello guys. Squats are a compound movement. They tap into multiple muscle groups across multiple joints. In fact, squats work the entire body. Of course, if you do them correctly, it can help build everything from strength and power to balance and flexibility. In this video, you will find out what happens to your body when you squat every day and how to squat correctly. So, let's get started. Butt and legs bigger. The thing about strength training is that it causes your body to undergo quite a few changes. As you boost your metabolism and burn more calories, you may start losing fat and dropping weight. At the same time, you may be building more muscle mass, adding more definition and shape to specific areas. In regards to squats, those areas will most likely include your glutes, hamstrings, and quads. Amp the fat burning ability. By building functional muscle the body increases mitochondrial density. The mitochondria are tiny cellular blast furnaces. Increasing mitochondrial density amps up the metabolism. Every extra pound of muscle gain will burn an additional 50 to 70 calories. If you gain 10 pounds of muscle, then your metabolism will burn an additional 500 calories per day. That additional muscle will also help in the regulation of glucose and lipid metabolism as well insulin sensitivity protecting against obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. This aids in toning and tightening your body from your abs to your butt to your legs. Improves balance and mobility. As you get older, having strong legs becomes important for balance and staying mobile. Squats will help in improving the strength of your legs. Squats will also work your stabilizing muscles and core, improving the link between your brain and the muscle. This will help in preventing falls and maintaining balance. Can be done anywhere. To do bodyweight squats, you don't need any equipment. All you need is your body and enough room to lower your hips into a sitting position. And, if you're pressed for time, you can still benefit many muscle groups by doing 50 squats a day. Try doing 25 in the morning and 25 at night. As you get stronger, add 25 to the afternoon. Increase bone density. Squatting doesn't just benefit your muscle. Doing squats helps your bones, too. Squats may also help increase bone mineral density, which can strengthen your skeleton, particularly the bones in the spine and lower body. Stronger bones help the body become more resilient against injury. A small 2013 study of women found that those who did 12 weeks of squat exercises improved skeletal health and bone mineral content. The findings suggest that strength training has the potential in the prevention and treatment of osteoporosis. Improve posture. Squatting, in general, is good for developing core strength, particularly through your spinal erectors, which help with spine extension. This alone can help improve posture with time assuming you're performing squats with proper form. But certain squat variations, particularly those that require a more upright positioning of the torso, can also help strengthen the shoulders and upper back, which can further improve posture. Reduce your risk of injury. Besides being an effective exercise, regularly doing squats may also help reduce your risk of knee and ankle injury. That's because the move strengthens the tendons, bones, and ligaments around your leg muscles and it can particularly help take some of the load off your knees and ankles. In fact, squats are used extensively for the therapeutic treatment of ankle instability. Motivation Once you master the basic squat, there are many different types of squat variations you can try. Changing up your squats can help keep the exercise interesting while also activating different muscle groups. Squats can be done with just your body weight. They can also be done with weights, like kettlebells, barbells, dumbbells, or medicine balls, or with resistance bands. Boost sports performance. Squats are the king of all progressive resistance exercises. When performed correctly with the requisite amount of intensity this one exercise gives a trainee great gains in strength overall. There are five biomotor attributes that aid in better sports performance. Strength, speed, endurance, agility, and flexibility. Speed and agility are directly improved when strength capacities are increased. While squats are versatile, it's still important to ensure you do them safely to avoid injury. How to squat correctly? Stand up straight with your feet shoulder width apart and your chest up. Bend at your knees and hips, sticking your butt out like you're sitting down in a chair. Squat down until your thighs are parallel to the floor. Your knees should be stacked over your ankles. Make sure to keep them behind your toes. Pause for a second. Your back should be straight, not rounded. Press into your heels and straighten your legs to return to the upright, standing position. Guys, please write me in the comments, how often do you do squats or don't squat at all? Tell me it will be interesting. And if you liked this video, 
Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in my new videos and be healthy.